Hello, y'all. Hey. <laughs> I finally made it to YouTube. First of all, <clears throat> my angels and I are very random. I thought I was going to do this at home in my nice setting. And they're like, nah, we want you to do this message in your car on your lunch break. So um, I have to be obedient to my angels. Sometimes I'm not. And I pay for it a little bit later. But when I am obedient, I feel like someone needs to hear this message. And I just want to let you guys know, my name is Lakeisha Smith. Um, I am an angel channeler. I do hear angels. I see angels. And I feel angels. And I just want to let you know, for those that do not know me or are new to my channel, um, I go by Keisha Lee um, as my stage name. <laughs> but you can reach me on Facebook as um, if you look up Lakeisha Smith. You can also reach me on my Instagram if you are wanting a reading. Um, and I'm going to put down my website and the information below. So if you want to uh, schedule a reading with me, um, you want to email me, I'll put my email address as well uh, down below on my website. I mean, by my website. And um, yeah, because December is coming up and for those of you who are curious about uh, your uh, what's going to happen in 2020, because um, I'm curious, <laughs> um, just let me know. Hit me up. So I haven't been on YouTube or I haven't uploaded a YouTube video, my YouTube video. And uh, I apologize. Someone's parking right next to me. So if you hear that vroom vroom, I apologize. I hope you heard me through all that. Anyway, um, I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in a minute. <laughs> Um, because of time, my phone's not tech savvy yet, it's getting there, but I just wanted to take a chance because I felt like this message had to be, uh, I had to get this out and for myself and for someone that's watching. So I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my journey, a little bit about my awakening in a very, very quick, short, um, phrase. I like to get to, the, I'm the kind of person that likes to get to the point. So, uh, I don't want to beat around the bush. I want to get to the point and deliver this message for you. So lately I've been going through this awakening and I've been going through this, um, beautiful spiritual transformation as a, as a channel Chandler. I cannot say that. Sorry, you guys. I cannot say that word that saved my life. Chandler. Okay. They're going to, y'all going to make fun of me, but it's okay. <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. Um, basically, um, as this gift, as I've been blessed with this gift as an angel reader and see angels and hear angels and feel angels, I come to realize that I'm also human as well. And I do have human feelings and I do go through human experiences. And I, you know, I rem I see things a little bit differently than a lot of people. Um, I see death differently. I see uh, love differently. I see the way people react to things differently because I don't see that person. If that makes sense, I see the energy, their energy, and I see their soul because we're just a soul taking over this body. This is just flesh. So when I, when you see people's energy, um, I mean, when you see people, um, and if you feel something, you're feeling their energy. Okay. Um, and I get drained very easily when I go on public places or when I go to movies or the job or, or, or the mall or whatever, because I'm feeling people's energy and I get tired really easily. And I just want to take a nap. So I'm learning how to protect myself more and more and more. But what I want to talk to you guys today, I really want to talk to you guys about ascending, why things happen the way they do, why you feel like you're in the slump and you're trying to get out. So what I want to talk to you guys about is for the next oh, five, six minutes, it's not going to be that long, but I, I want to share with you my personal journey, my personal story, a little bit about where I am, how I got here and where I'm going. And uh, I've manifested some crazy things. I manifested some wonderful things. Um, I've also... Um, gone through some really, really tough things to share. Um, for those of you that don't know me personally, um, for those that do know me already, I lost my younger brother this year. I lost a really good friend of mine, um, a month before then, before he, my brother passed. And that was the first time I've, I've ever experienced death close to me in my immediate family and, or anyone close to me. Um, I've lost pets, and I've put one of my babies, my cats down, 
but I've never lost a person very, very close to me. One of the hardest probably, I think one of the hardest things is grief for me. You know, it could be something else for someone else, but for me, losing someone close to you, that pretty much seals the deal, you know? Um, but what got me in my journey after my brother passed, that now I'm in vocational school for a medical assistant, and then I'm going to go further to become an RN. But during this journey, I've noticed I've learned a lot about myself. And what I've learned about myself is I'm pretty damn, I was pretty damn hard on myself. And I was a yes person. Okay. And uh, I thought I wasn't, but I was. And I started taking a step back and stop. I start, stop pleasing people to please them so they can like me or they could say I'm a good person. And not to say that that's bad, but it's draining. And you wonder why you get drained and you wonder why you are, you don't have anything left for yourself at the end of the day because you're pleasing everyone else but yourself. You got to learn how to take care of yourself and you have to learn how to get in touch with who you are. And I had to learn who Keisha was. I had to learn who Lakeisha Smith was. Who are you besides an angel reader, besides a, a, a daughter, besides a sister, besides a, you know, a friend? Who is Keisha? So when I really dived into what, who I was and who I am and why I didn't work out with, you know, romantic relationships with this guy or whatever. And because I didn't love myself fully, which I love, love who I am. I'm in love with me because I really, really love this person that I am and who I'm becoming. But I had to really do some soul searching. Where I'm at in my life is I feel like I can burst. And what I mean by that is I feel that I could finally be me. If that makes sense, you know, I'm going to be 35 next year. I don't mind telling my age. I know people are like, ooh, you know, I'm going to get old. I say I'm old or whatever, but I love my 30s. <laughs> I love it. And I'm going to be 35 next year. And I finally got to the point in my life where I feel like I want a burst of this energy of just who I am. But I'm also at a time in my life at this moment where there's a situation that I'm in that is draining the crap out of me and I feel it. And I don't like this feeling and I'm doing something to change it. So, um, and don't worry, no, it's not a boyfriend or nothing like that. Y'all would know if I had a boyfriend, which is coming really soon. Anyway, off topic, back to what we're talking about. <laughs> but what I want to say is I'm at a point in my life where I'm making room for change, for growth. And I don't care what people have to say about me. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you don't like what I have to say. And the thing is, you don't have to be rude to speak your mind. I think that's where people, when they're like, I'm me, I love who I am. I'm vegan. I'm, I'm, I'm vegetarian or I'm spiritual, but you are, you're rude as hell. And nobody wants to, wants to hear that approach. Nobody, I mean, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to look at that approach. They, you know, if you come lovingly and if you express who you are in a very loving way and your beliefs and not try to force it on someone, then people will amount to listen to you. So with that said, my journey right now, there's one situation in my life that I said that is very suffocating and I want to burst and breathe. And I feel like once I get out this situation, then I'll be able to really just, I'm growing now, but when I get out this situation, I'll be really to just, but I feel like (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it's, I, and I do cuss, so, you know, if your kitties or, I mean, your, your your children are around, sorry, but I do, you know, drop the F-bomb in here and there, so, sorry. But I'm at my life where I give no fucks. No Fs given. And it feels great. <laughs> it feels bomb. It feels amazing. And I'm still, you know, every day is, is a growing challenge for me, so. Oh, I'm sorry. It froze a little bit. I'm so sorry. So if it looked like I went like this, sorry, I froze. (laughs) But what I'm saying is that I, for those out there that are in a situation where you feel stuck, be it, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a job, whether it be, you know, family or a roommate, whatever you feel stuck, do something about it. You have the power to change it. Even if you feel there's no way out, you remember you have options. And I want you to know that you are your best friend. You yourself. You know, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm really, 
I, well, I was, and I'm working on that. I was really hard on myself. And you can never be perfect. You can never, you can get to a certain level, but don't beat yourself up because you're not there yet. Don't beat yourself up because people are saying, so when this is going to happen or what? It's your life. It's your time. Know that you are beautiful. Know that you're a beautiful soul. Know that you that you are a miracle. <laughs> you are a walking miracle. And know that you don't let anyone stop you or dull your shine or your sparkle because they may not agree with what you're doing. They may not agree with what you're not doing. You only answer to one person and that's you know who. Whatever you believe is of God or God or universe, you only answer to yourself and that and up above. Nobody else. Remember, nothing is permanent as well. This situation, nothing. The only thing is permanent is death. And even in death, it's not permanent because your soul lives on. So remember that. Here, while we're on this earth, while you're living, which is a miracle in itself, you're alive. You're not dead. <laughs> you are healthy and for those that are not in the best of health you're going to get better believe that you will have the resources to feel better to get better but just know how beautiful you are and that you can change your situation it may not be in the time you want it may not be in the way you thought it was going to work out but be strong don't let anyone take you for granted and stop pleasing people Start pleasing yourself, okay? I love you guys. I'm going to go now. I'll be back with more videos, and I'll be back with more readings, and I'll be back with more pick-a-card readings. And um, like I said, if you want to book a reading with me, uh, you can email me, look for me on Instagram, look for me on Facebook, and um, we'll set that up. But I love you guys so much, and if you have any comments or questions, you know, like I said, hit me up. Um, I love you. Thank you for all the support that you guys have already shown me. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you for watching me. And uh, I will see y'all later. Bye.